Hi, it's Tracy with Chalk Couture, with Tracy's Got Chalk, and I'm just going to show you a little project that we're doing today. So I picked up this little ornament shaped wood thing at Target for very little money, and it was a uh, raw wood, so I took this chalk, chalky finish, I think I got it at a uh, Walmart, and just painted over the top of it to get rid of my raw, raw wood look, made it white, chalky white, that dries in like 10 minutes. I also happened to do it on the edge because this used to be a glittery silver edge and I wanted to get rid of that. So that was that. So these, this is stenciling, but instead of calling these stencils, we call them templates because what they are is they stick to your project, but they're reusable. And instead of a hole where the design is, it's silk screen. So you also get your design in your painting, gets really accurate finish work when you do it. So let's just kick right into it. I have, we're going to do snowflakes, then we're going to say sparkle, and it can hang on the wall and be a decoration. I'm going to use aquamarine and Caribbean colors for the snowflakes. Kind of backwards, I know snowflakes are usually white, but we're going to go backwards. So this is my squeegee. Instead of being called paint, this is called chalk paint. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my squeegee, and since I got a little bit too much, I'm going to start with another uh, stencil here, template I should call it. And I'm just, I can see, you can see where the white parts are of the template, I've got it all over my squeegee. So I'm just going to move it, I just kind of squeegee and grab the paints, like cleaning windows. And I see this one little white spot. So I'm going to move it over there, and you can see as I did that, I got it on the edge, but it's no big deal because it wipes right off. It's water-based, water and it comes right off. So I just moved it over to my other one here, and then I'm just going back over it to get my excess paint. So that was our one color. I'm going to just get it off here. This is the thing that seals it to keep in your moisture and then just put back on the lid. These do dry out really fast and you can add your own water to get it the texture of pudding or I call it frosting. So these are just my little squeegees. I'm going to put some in there and now we're going to do the big one. Just pull it across. And because you get the excess off at the end, you really don't have to be worried about getting too much on your squeegee, but I find that I still, like that's how fast you can do it. And what I do now is I'm just going to pull these off because the pattern is done. I'm just going to put them on the side here on my tablecloth, that's a trash tablecloth. And look at the precision you get and the detail that you get in these things. And you can see that I got some paint on my deal there so I'm going to get my little wipey and it should wipe right off and if it doesn't then I can just go over it with my white chalk paint but I always have these disinfecting wipes and you see that it took my little goof right there and I think I had one right here takes it white off our our chalk is made so that it's water based if I'm done with the season and I want to change my look, then I can wash it off with water. If I don't want it to be um, washable and I want it to be a permanent thing, then I can seal it. So it's really easy. Let's do, before I do the word, let's do, so these are the templates. They just come off of your, um, come right off of the backing. We'll do this color again. And you see, I just put it right on there, pull my paint across, and it's just so much fun. It just feels good to do it, and it looks absolutely awesome. See how fast it was to do that one? I take the edge of it, pull it off, all done. Okay, so now I am going to wait for a second because I just did that. And, oh... I was gonna do some sparkles. So we're gonna sparkle, we're gonna put some glitter over that one that I just did. Cause you have to get the glitter on here really quickly. So I'm going to just, and this glitter is just from Walmart, 
glitter place. It's nothing special. It's just glitter. And then I'm going to just shake off the excess onto a piece of foil just so I can use it again. And look how pretty that looks glittery. I don't know if you can see that with the camera, but it totally looks beautiful glittery. And then all we have to do to this is to put our word sparkle on. And once I get the word sparkle on, then I can do a few more um, things. Maybe some of the other smaller snowflakes around the edge. What I gotta watch out for is this one that I just did. Maybe what I'll do is turn my word sparkle more like that. And I'll make sure that it doesn't, I'm not gonna stick it down over that one. So I got my word sparkle on there. I'm gonna do this in black. So these have the lids that seal in the moisture. So you can see this paint I didn't mix. But it's still like frosting is what I call it. And I'm going to kind of kind of move my board around to make it easier to get this word because I have those other things already on here. I just need to make sure I get the end of my word sparkle up here. So you can see through it and you can see if you have any whiteness. So I had whiteness right there on the edge. Use my clean edge to get it. I got some excess paint, so I'm just going to get it off of my squeegee. Whoops. Can you see I splattered some black? I'm just going to get my excess black just so I don't waste my paint. And then let's take our word sparkle off. And there we have the word sparkle. Now you see I got some excess paint there. Let me get that off. with my handy dandy wipe. And I'm going, oh my gosh, it's black. What's it gonna do? But you can see it wipes right off. And if I still think there's a little smudge of black or grayish from it, I can just go over it with the chalk paint when I'm done. But it's cleaning off of there really nicely. So there we have a sparkle decoration. Thank you. That's how easy chalk couture is.